hope that I, I said her last name right. I am sorry. I am really sorry. Just I should just title this video. I'm sorry. And maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back home. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded something new. And if you are not new, thank you so much for returning. I am so happy to be back with another video. And I hope that you'll enjoy this one because it's going to be a little different. And yeah, so let's just get right into that. So today I'm going to be recreating or attempting to recreate some of my favorite influencers looks. Um, these are all influencers that I can totally see myself emulating a lot of inspiration for my outfits and my style and the type of content that I create on Instagram is really through the influence of these influencers that I'm going to go through so I have four influencers. I was able to do a poll on my Instagram and you guys were able to choose which influencer you would rather see so all of the ones that got picked are going to be the looks that you're going to see in this video. The first person that I'm going to talk about is Hannah Schoenberg. I really hope that I pronounced her name right. I haven't heard how she pronounces it, but one, I'm sorry, <laughs> and two, I don't have a two, so we're going to move on. Her style is just so great because it's very effortless, it's very chic. Honestly, it's just something I feel like everyone can relate to with finding these pieces in their closet and then just dressing it up. So the first outfit that I have is this iconic look that she goes for a lot in her pictures, which is just an oversized pea coat, raincoat, I don't know the specific term, but when I see this type of coat, I'm just like, oh, it's a raincoat. Oh, it's a pea coat. You get what I mean? More of a visual person. So if you're like me, then when you see it, you're going to be like, I know what she's talking about. Or at least I hope <laughs> that you will understand what I'm saying. So she is just wearing this coat with a pair of heels. Something that's really trending right now are nylon communion heels and she was definitely sporting one of these types of shoes and I had something similar like that. I've talked about these heels plenty of times. These heels are from Tony Bianco. They're the nylon material so very on trend and goes with literally anything. Just like her style is just so true to being effortless and chic. So um, she definitely it's like the most effortless looking outfits are always the ones that take the most effort for some reason, but that just seems to be the reality of fashion. So on to the second look from Hannah Schomburg. Uh She had paired sweatpants with a oversized blazer, a graphic tee, and boots. I think she was actually wearing Prada boots, but I can't afford those, but I happen to have a pair of black docks, which will have to fit the bill, and with this look, I was able to recreate that to the best of my ability with what I already had. So yes, everything from Hannah Schoenberg, I love all of her photos and definitely try to emulate her style the best that I can when the opportunity presents itself. And yeah, I found this very easy to style because, of course, the like I said before, these are just things that are lying around in your closet anyway, so why not just play a little dress up and wear it in a different way. Next influencer that you guys voted for was Emma Legere. Another last name that I hope that I pronounced right, I really hope so. She, I think she said it several times on her Instagram feed that if I have it wrong at this point, then it's totally my fault. So, yes, her style, I would like to describe it as being very luxe and attainable. She does shop luxury, but she also shops from online stores that are more affordable, like Nasty Gal, Princess Polly, um, Naked Fashion, and all that. She's kind of like along the whole spectrum of budget spending on 
her fashion pieces so i felt like even though she may shop some luxury pieces there's also elements to her style that are very attainable for everybody so i picked the two outfits from her instagram page that were pretty current so if you go on her instagram page you can be hopefully you will be able to see the similarities in the looks that i wanted to recreate so the first look was this basic tee with baggy pants a bucket hat and nikes when i saw this photo it was just screaming to me girl next door but if that girl next door was Anna Wintour. She's so fashion forward that you know it just it just kind of puts me in that position that I would think someone who knew Anna Wintour at Emma Leger's age would be like yeah that's her. The second outfit from her this bodysuit I actually have, so this is going to be identical. So it was just this meshki bodysuit. It's so cool because it has a really high slit like you would see in like a classic 90s one piece. So it's very thigh high, scandalous, and it has the ties in the middle that just make it such a statement piece to what would be a basic white bodysuit. And then she wore tan pants with this and I paired it with tan pants but I had something that was more to the texture of the pants that she's wearing and that's in the form of these shorts that I had from Princess Polly so I decided to pair that together with Doc Martin she's another one who has another pair of Prada boots and as much as I wish I could have them and there's totally dupes online at places like Nasty Gall that you can totally get into that if you want to i just feel like the trend is sort of past its peak so you know buying affordable or you know biting the bullet and getting the product boots i feel like it's kind of past its peak right now to really invest in them so i hope that with the next boot trend i'll be able to get on that that is all for emma leger next we're going on to coincidentally her best friend it's going to be Nitsin Raider. Why does everyone have really difficult last names? Like my last name is so, well actually no, people get my last name wrong so much. They always think that it's Gomez, but it's Gomes. Like tell me how you pronounce something with a Z at the end and what, how you pronounce something with an S at the end. I'm sorry, rant over. Anyway, when I look at her style, I see flirty, feminine, cool girl, like such an LA, California girl, even though she's from Canada, but who cares? She pulls it off, it's great. And so I wanted to recreate that with this one look she did with a tie front top, some ripped Levi's and Converse. I also saw, this was on a separate photos, but like those really trendy hair clips that you use to put on makeup but somehow are just a regular accessory to your outfit totally into it and so i decided to put integrate that into this outfit really cute love it and then i have the second outfit from her which is the backless top so pretty i talked about it all the time i posted about it all the time i love this top so when i saw knits in put this outfit together i was just like yeah i have to recreate this one i just have to so she had an all white outfit and can i deny an all white outfit no i cannot so i recreated it with this white denim from a brand jeans love them and then of course i paired it with my nikes and then i had two looks for each influencer but i just kept going through Nitz's instagram feed and saw this last outfit that i was like you know what I'll, I'll do like a bonus outfit for her so the bonus outfit that i have from knits is a cropped white button down i have this one from princess polly that is actually a crop blazer but it was sort of the same look so i was gonna go with that and then i have this high slit mini skirt that i adore from this instagram shop i feel like it's so underrated because it just doesn't like I, I don't understand how this page is not exploding and trending everywhere, but it's so beautiful. It's from this place called Shop Notice. They have a very minimal line, but it's just with pieces that I've always wanted, but it just wasn't ever available to me until I discovered this page, and it's just, I want everything from them. So, I paired this skirt with the white blazer, and I decided to pair it 
as best as I could to Nitz's actual look. I had these Stuart Weissman boots that I decided to pair with that. And I thought, since this is such a versatile, classic, black and white look, I could totally wear it with the Tote Bianco heels. So I kind of did a part one, part two to, to her third outfit. And then my last favorite influencer is M. Rada. I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name because it's just there's no point we're just gonna go right into the outfits <laughs> and the first outfit that i have from emrata is actually from her clothing line in a morata uh, yeah like <laughs> i'll have it in english down in the description box so you guys can see what i mean so um, one of the things that she had on her clothing line were these jumpsuits and I'm just into it. I'm so into the jumpsuits this season. I think it's so sporty and chic and totally symbolic of Emrata's style. She's very simplistic, batty, model off duty. She can make anything look good and it gave me enough confidence to try out a jumpsuit and this one was a total success. I love this jumpsuit. I love the way that it fits and the rest were just add-ons. So I just paired it with a basic baseball hat, um, a button down, and some Nikes with my Nike socks. I thought that was such a classic look. It's so 90s Princess Diana walking down the street, streetwear, so cool. And that was my first look. And my last outfit from Emrata is the Butra Jeans outfit that I saw. Like there was this one photo that I saw on her Instagram page that had the butt ripped jeans. And if you've been with me, you know I love butt ripped jeans. I love butt zipper jeans. I just love scandalous jeans. <laughs> they were these butt ripped jeans with a basic black top, another classic baseball hat, and a denim jacket. So this was just so simplistic and so easy and attainable and I just thought that, you know, anyone could recreate this look. So of course that was the one that I was going to go with. I feel like that's that emulates her style ultimately. So like if you see this look, you kind of know what the rest of her style is all about. So babes, that is it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button and comment below what your favorite look was. If you knew these influencers and you love them too. Um, if you would like to see more videos of like this, please let me know. I love hearing your ideas and definitely come visit me on Instagram for daily inspo and for the times that I do these polls for new YouTube videos. I love letting you guys give me feedback so I could give you videos that you are really interested in seeing. So I hope to see you next time, babes. Bye!